so guys it's quarantine and almost everybody is at home except if you are a healthcare worker so a lot of changes going on in the world so many people are happy others are weeping others are sorrowful others even feel so depressed some do not even have you know a reason to really live in this world that is so chaotic in today's video i want to share with you five things you should be doing if you are going through any breakup five tips to help you if you just ended a relationship and you put your best in if you just went through a hard time and you are finding resources on how to heal this is your girl bella it's always a pleasure having you around so the first tip that you should be doing if you just went through a terrible 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 breakup is acknowledgement acknowledge that you know the, you you've been hurt acknowledge that the breakup is for real do not deny you know yourself the fact that you have actually been hurt you know acceptance is one thing that is really difficult most people when they you know break up or and all of that they say oh i can't believe it oh he did this or she did that to me accept it you know back in africa we we'll say or back in camera we used to say shock it yeah like absorb the shock and then move on it's so difficult when it just happens but guess what accept that you have been hurt accept that it really hurts and it is really okay for you to sit at home and maybe you don't really want to get out of bed it's so okay to cry because in all of these it's okay to express your emotions because in all of this that really means that you are accepting that it really hurts don't say oh i'm not gonna cry i'm gonna you know absorb it and just no accept it that the relationship is officially over accept that you have actually wasted maybe three months a year four five six ten years of your time or of your life with somebody and today or whenever you're watching this video it's officially over accept it accept that it really hurt and in that that is just the beginning of your healing process the second thing that you should be doing you know is to forgive you know the bible says that the lord loved us so much that he even forgave us he sent his son to die for you and i our sins now so you may be watching and wondering how that has to do you know with your breakup that means that your emotions or your feelings god knows about it and he wants you to let go and the first thing that god really wants you to do is forgive yourself not even the person who offended you is forgive yourself because we humans most often we are tempted to say oh my god i will never forgive myself i made the most terrible mistake of my life god loves you and he wants you you know to hand your feelings to him and the first the second thing you should be doing is forgiving yourself which is very very important don't lay all the blame on yourself. Oh, I'm good for nothing. I don't think I can do this anymore. I'm just going to kill myself. I feel so depressed. God knows you do feel depressed. That's why he's telling you to forgive yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Take a moment and breathe in and out. You are worthy. You are a special person. So this step, you need to forgive yourself first. And when you forgive yourself, then you can forgive other people. Because if you cannot forgive yourself, it's so hard to forgive other people. So forgive yourself first. And then the person who you were in a relationship with, try to forgive them. Forgiving somebody is not even an easy task. Trust me, I won't pretend and tell you that it's just one day you forgive them it's never gonna happen you can never forgive your ex on that same day or in one day it is a process like i said do your best to let go because forgiveness comes with letting go and for you to be able to let go like we said in the first thing you know the first step is you know accept that you know you've been hurt and stuff like that and that is part of the healing process the next thing that you should be doing, have fun. Right now, 
now you may be watching and you are going through a heartbreak or you just you know had your heart broken or you had a terrible breakup you may be like oh my god i don't think i want to do this anymore when i say have fun just do those little things that makes you happy do the little thing that will make you happy do the little things that you know will make you smile it can be as simple as getting up in the morning having a warm cup of tea or coffee or doing yoga exercising or just taking a walk or watching a movie or calling a loved one maybe your friend your sister your family your parents or whoever it is that will really make you happy genuinely call them but that should definitely not be your ex call them tell them like hey what's up tell them how much you know they mean to you if you really want to maybe writing an article or if you're a writer or whatever write some notes down if that's what is going to make you happy do that and trust me before you know it you realize that that thing is making you happy genuinely like from the bottom of your heart you will be happy if only you spend more time with your family you spend more time with your loved ones you spend more time even with yourself having a pamper routine a morning routine and a night routine or being able to have a spa like time at home and all of that is gonna make you happy trust me it will another thing that you should be doing during this time when you are so hurt and all of that is working on yourself discovering yourself and improving on yourself this is a moment of self-discovery some people when they are in a relationship they forgo all or they forget who they truly are just because you want to make your relationship work just because you want to please your partner you know you forget about yourself you let yourself go just because you want your relationship to move on and sometimes if you are not careful you may even lose a touch of who you truly are so this is a time where you can sit down take a pen and a paper start writing your dreams and your goals and your visions the things that make you happy improve on yourself this is a time of self-discovery of knowing your worth this is a time for you to actually say okay this is what i really wanted to do go for your dreams it can be as easy as maybe going back to school learning a craft maybe learning a keyboard or an instrument like doing something strategizing this is the time for you enjoy this singlehood because you will never be single again maybe the next time you'll be in another relationship which may land in marriage and then the, the cycle continues of being with somebody being happy having kids and all of that enjoy you being single enjoy this time because you will never have this precious time again the last thing that is on the list is to pray yes you have to pray like i said in the book of john 3 verse 16 it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only son listen he loved it means god has emotions himself just like you if you express your feelings to god he alone truly knows how you feel he is the only one that can heal you completely of your pain he is the only one who will better understand you he is the only one who will better understand you he is the only one who will understand where it hurts and trust me when you pray to him be genuine as much as possible cry if you need to because he alone is God and he created you in his image and in his likeness and he truly understands that it hurts and he is the only one that can touch you give you that special touch without judging you without you know giving you a lot of regret without bashing you and all of that lord if you can pray to him he will wipe your tears away and give you a new meaning of life and make your life more worthy than you can ever think imagine or phantom guys until next time this is bella and if you want more relationship videos i can do more let me know in the comment section if you want more of such videos until next time this is bella it's always 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 a pleasure having you around